This is Sabaneta guys, right at dusk and everything and we're going towards the park. Let's see what we can see. Okay guys, we're coming towards the park here. Money making Mike, Magic Mike and myself. <laughs> Medellin is beautiful, Medellin Sabaneta. Is the most beautiful place I've been. And this is Sabaneta. And this is Sabaneta, Medellin, been to Pablado, uh, La Centena. Setenta. Setenta. I gotta learn the Spanish the next time I come back so I have a better experience. But Eddie's been very good with my uh, travels. He's been with me for the most part every day. My other friend Johnny, who's not really on the YouTube um, thing, but you know, people are very nice. Um, I had a very good experience just in general um, you know I'm coming back and I'm looking to uh, do something that I never did before in my life which is like just get out of from where I was and start over here in Medellin well let's see what uh, what's in store but there's so many opportunities here the system in general um, I feel it's up to par I think it's smart virtual um, it has a lot to offer. Uh, the Metro line, uh, very convenient. Um, cabs, the money, uh, I don't know. It's, it, it is, it's, it's a really good lifestyle um, if you keep it simple and, and you draw boundaries. So I like Envigado the best so far, and um, but all Medellin is really nice. Pablado's a little bit fast for me, but um, we went over there the other night and had a nice time too. Good nightlife you know everyone's happy no no one's looking for an issue or a problem everybody's happy and and really giving and and the hospitality is very welcoming so i'm looking to come back i thank traveling eddie uh that he's been very nice to me um and you know this is something that i people pay for and i have the opportunity to have eddie give me a gift that you know i can only take with me and cherish so thanks a lot youtube Colombia, Medellin, number one, and Traveling Eddie, he's going places. A lot of plans, a lot of footage coming your way. Awesome. And Thank remember you. what Mikey just said, you got to learn Spanish if you really want to connect with people here. If not, the language barrier is abysmal. And that's all she wrote. Absolutely. I, I would say when I get back to the States, I'm going to have to start learning Spanish. And... Um, this way I could have a better experience in communication. So communication is a real key to anywhere you go. So thanks a lot. Excellent. Thanks. Yeah, good. Happy, happy, happy. Happy, happy go times. Lucky. Happy I've been go to a lot lucky. of places around the world and I'd say this is this is far, by far. It's not an ocean around here, but I'm sure when I go to Cartagena in the future too, I'm gonna enjoy it just as much as here. I mean, this is unbelievable and uh, you know, thank you. Thanks, Medellin. Awesome. Peace, peace. Peace. One of the awesome things about visiting Colombia, Medellin, and Vigado Sabaneta is this place. It's almost 100 years old. La Tienda de Tocayo. Good place to be. Let's go. So we're here in the park. We're here in Sabaneta. And this happens usually on Saturdays at night. But right now, they're here today for some, I don't know, maybe because of Feria Las Flores, guys. And you got all kinds of tidbits you can buy and candy whatever sweets all kinds of good stuff and we're gonna go over there this is the park here and mikey's getting to see this for the first time before he goes back home and here's the park there's the church over the main church and then here is a famous place if you want to have authentic feel of colombian fondas and everything sitio viejo the old place and they play vaginatos and everything and then they got the other place over there, the other shop, the other restaurant. And you can eat typical food, listen to good music. And that's it. All of this for you guys. Now guys, if you want to have a typical restaurant experience here, come to Restaurante El Viejo John, Old Man John. And this is a typical place here. It's only uh, half a block up from the park. And check it out. It's a nice atmosphere inside and all that. So good recommendations. Look at it. It's a nice setup. And we're going to go let's go this way
guys, I'm showing you here how they make buñuelos here in Sabaneta. Check it out. Buenas noches, ¿cómo está? And this is a famous place here called the Pilgrim, El Peregrino. It's right here next to the church, Sabaneta Park, the whole park thing going there. And it's called El Peregrino, the Pilgrim. So you'll enjoy it. And nice, beautiful buñuelos. So I just got myself a oblea with all these things in it. So she's making one right now, right there with arequipe. I got mine with some cheese, some milk, cream, some blackberry sauce, and some condensed milk. And I'm gonna eat it right now in a moment. Delish, delish. Gracias, Janet. Stuadego. All right, guys, let me give you the taste test. Mmm. Delicious. It's only like 5,500 pesos. That's a dollar, a dollar 30 cents for this. No. Mm hmm. Mikey's enjoying it. Delicious. Mikey likes it. 